Good morning everybody, this is Harold with Jackson Appliance Repair Orlando.com and today I'm going to install a rooftop attic fan on my house and the easiest way to do this is to call somebody and hire them and pay them to do it but you know me, you've watched enough of my videos I'm going to do it myself. Now the way I'm going to do it is I've attached an extension cord uh, with the right rating for the wire size and all that because I have an outlet underneath uh, in, a, in, a, in the AC closet where I'm going to be plugging this into a GFI outlet. So uh, I'm just going to add an extension cord. Uh, the, the wiring diagram that comes with it shows it to be hardwired into a system to a breaker. So this is a dedicated circuit that I'm plugging it into and the other thing that's uh, going to it is the uh, sump pump for the air conditioner. So, so it doesn't work very often, just a few seconds at a time, pump out some condensation water, and then it turns off. So it's not really going to affect having the fan on all the time. So I'm going to set the temperature to around 100 degrees and uh, install it and then see what happens. So let's go to the roof and cut a hole and install the fan and see how that goes. So this is the fan I'm installing and as you can see I've already hooked up the extension cord, 15 foot extension cord and uh, there's the thermostat and uh, that's the fan we're putting up. Now using the cardboard that went around the fan, I laid that on the roof where I wanted to cut the hole and I cut the hole where the fan's going to go. So now I'm going to clean that up and mount the fan. But first off, if you see the cord going down in there, there's an outlet down below and I'll show you that in a few minutes. Okay, now what I've done here is I've put roofing cement down before I put the flashing down for the fan. Now yeah, I know you're saying, why didn't I tear up some shingles and put it under the shingles? Well, uh, in the very near future, I'm hoping to have this type of roof on the whole house. So uh, the flashing is sufficient and the, the roof and cement is sufficient until we get the, uh, the new metal roof on the house. Which uh, once I do all this, I, I'll never have to do a roof or any kind of thing like that again. So <clears throat> uh, instead of messing up the roof, it's old and brittle, don't want to mess it up. So I'm just going to mastic it with roofing cement down to the roof, screw it down with some good screws, and it's pretty much done after that. And then I'll go downstairs and show you where I plug it in and everything. Okay, so I put it down on top of the mastic, smooth it around the roofing cement. You know, put uh, four screws on each side, and let the roof. Uh, top part is done for now. Now I'll go downstairs. So what I did is I attach the electrical cord to this from the roof and I pulled it down into the attic area. And then this is it here. Comes down and then I plugged it in right here. Hope you can see that. It's kind of hard to see. I don't have much light around here. I'll get a close-up. And that's just a... Uh, I know I got too many things hanging in the way. And that's a GFI breaker. You can uh, receptacle. You can see it's got a breaker switch on it there. So that's cool. So it's all done. So you can see the thermometer there. It's around 90 degrees. So when it gets 10 more degrees up here, it'll come on, start running. So that's it. I hope this video was helpful to you. Well, this is Harold with Jackson Appliance Repair Orlando.com. I hope that video was helpful to you. Please give me a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe. And I'm dirty and wet and hot, so I'm going to clean up. I'll have another video for you soon. You guys have a great day.